Hey what's up guys, I'm Usman. In this video, I'm going to review the Samsung Galaxy A32 after using it. I bought it about one month ago and now it's time to share its pros and cons so you can get the idea that should you buy this device or not. So for that, let's begin the video. In the box of the Samsung Galaxy A32, you will get device with 15 watt power adapter, silicon cover, few paperwork and SIM tool. Sadly, hand-free is not available with this device. If I start from design, no doubt Samsung Galaxy A32 has unique sexy back design in Samsung's A-series phones. It looks like glass until you hold it in the hand. Easy to handle in hand and not so heavy with 184 gram weight. It's really slippery in hand, so it's best to use it with its silicone cover to save it from accidentally dropping from your hand. And this time Samsung gave every camera lens its own separate island instead of putting them together on one island that we saw last year. In my opinion, Samsung got this camera design inspiration from the LG Velvet phone. LG Velvet has same design but came before the Galaxy A32. What do you say about this? Please let me know in the comments below. And there's branding of the Samsung at the bottom of the back. And if I talk about its scratch situation, Samsung Galaxy A32 got many scratches on its back. Now it's difficult for me to show you that scratches with the camera due to its white color. But these scratches will be more easily visible on the black and the blue colors. So if you don't like scratches, then white color will be better because white color can hide little bit scratches. And there is nothing new about the frame. This plastic frame has speaker, USB-C port, mic and the headphone jack on the bottom. And on the top there is only noise cancellation mic. Right side has power button and the volume rockers. And the left side has SIM tray slot which can hold two SIMs and macro SD card at the same time so you can enjoy dual SIM functionality along with external storage. And when I did the speaker test on the Samsung Galaxy A32, I got 88 decibel which is good not bad in casual use. And on the front, you will get 6.4 inch old Infinity U display which is super AMOLED with 1080p resolution and 411 pixel density. Display is good and smooth due to the 90Hz refresh rate but it's not as smooth as I saw on the Galaxy A52 maybe due to the chipset. Although brightest nits are 800 on this device but it's not so bright that we can easily use outside in extreme sunlight. Here you can see the difference between the Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A32. Both have 800 nits but the display of the Galaxy A52 is more bright. So I'm not satisfied with its brightness outside. You will need to find any tree or shelter to use it outside in sunny day. And you have choice available on the Samsung Galaxy A32 to select between 90Hz and 60Hz. If you want to save some battery then you can jump to the 60Hz also. Overall display is good and fine with better colors and details. Only issue is the brightness which is not so good in this price range. On Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 I saw more better brightness than the Galaxy A32. And we can enjoy YouTube app up to 2K only on this phone, 4K is not available. Even we cannot play any 4K file in the gallery of this phone. And the Galaxy A32 comes with more bezels on the top than its big brother Galaxy A52. And one more thing disappointing of this phone is the touch sensor of the Galaxy A32. It's really slow and laggy. It takes good time to unlock. Maybe Samsung fix this with any upcoming update. And on the other hand, Samsung Galaxy A32 comes with MediaTek Helio G80 chipset which is built on 12 nanometer process with Mali G52 MC2 GPU. I have 6GB RAM variant but you can also get 8GB. Here are the NT2 benchmark scores which are totally not comparative in this price range. I saw lagging while multitasking and gaming. Even it stuck a bit on contact and message app. So definitely it's not a good choice for those who do a lot of multitasking. I did its gaming test also. If you want to watch, link will be available in the iCard or in the description of this video. In which I got heat issues. This device really gets hot and start lagging. So I cannot suggest this phone to a pro gamer. But for the casual gaming, maybe you can think about it. And here are the benchmark scores of other devices in this price range. Galaxy A52 and Redmi Note 10 Pro have better scores. So in my opinion, it's better to get Snapdragon for more, better and smooth performance. So if you can afford, then it's good to jump to the Galaxy A52 instead of the Galaxy A32 if you are Samsung fanboy. Galaxy A32 comes with the latest Android 11 with One UI 3.1 at top. You have mostly new features of One UI 3.1 available and in Adapt Sound, you can also set frequencies according to your age. And Sport of Dolby Atmos also available. And the camera of the Samsung Galaxy A32 is also not so impressive. There is quad camera on the back of the Galaxy A32 with 64 megapixel main sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 5 megapixel depth. 
Photos of the Galaxy A32 have less details and not so impressive colors. Saturation is also average. And here you can see I compared it with the Galaxy A52 and you can easily feel the difference. Galaxy A52 providing more details in photos with good saturation. And if we compare ultra wide, ultra wide of the Galaxy A52 is more impressive and excellent in this price range. But the ultra wide of the Galaxy A32 is not impressive, lack of details and sharpness and you can judge colors also. I'm not really fan of the Galaxy A32 camera. Let's compare the wide and ultra wide of the Galaxy A32 so you can get more idea. You can observe details are better on wide than the ultra wide. So I will suggest you to only use ultra wide in emergency. What do you say about the ultra wide of this phone? Please let me know in the comments below. Here are the portrait shots. Edge detection on the Galaxy A32 is really good. No doubt in it, Samsung provided really good edge detection on the Galaxy A32, A52 and the A72. Edge detection is good, but again details and colors in photos are not so good in portrait mode also. Here are the few shots in low light. Edge detection in low light is also impressive. So you can see how well it detected the edges in low light. And here are the few macro shots. I'm not fan of the macro camera in this price range. And as expected, macro camera is also not stunning on the Galaxy A32. And the night mode of the Galaxy A32 not bad. At least provide us objects in photos and telling us what's going on in photo. But if I compare it with the Galaxy A52, the photos of the Galaxy A52 are more bright with better details than the Galaxy A32. Ultra wide is also available in the night mode, but you can judge its quality. Here I compared its ultra wide with the Galaxy A52 so you can get more idea. And in video, we have only 720 and 1080p at 30 fps available on this phone. Sadly, 4K is not available on this phone, which is really disappointed thing. On the other hand, Xiaomi providing 4K in Redmi Note 10, which is cheap than the Galaxy A32. Video quality of the Galaxy A32 is not impressive or I can say horrible. I was not expecting this thing from the Samsung in this budget. I don't think you will share this video on any platform. It works a little bit better in close area by focusing on one object. And here are the selfies. We have 20 megapixel selfie camera. Selfie camera of the Galaxy A32 is little bit better than the rear camera. But I observe that it provides us warm tone or yellowish effect on the selfies. And here I compared selfie with the Galaxy A52 so you can get more idea. We have wide and ultra wide available on selfie camera of the Galaxy A32. If you want natural colors instead of warm tone, then the Galaxy A32 is not better choice for you in selfies. Here are the portrait selfies. Edge detection on front camera is also good, but same problem of warm tone here also. And if I talk about battery, Galaxy A32 comes with huge 5000mAh battery which is enough for 2 or 1.5 day casual use. I did its battery drainage test in which it survived for 8 hours which is really good. If you want to watch that video, link will be available in the iCard or in the description of this video. But 15W fast charging is not so good. It completed its 100% charging in 2 hours and 15 minutes, which is not so competitive in this price range. I think 25 watt power adapter was better choice in this price range, which Samsung definitely ignored. So this was a review of the Samsung Galaxy A32. Now it's time for the final thoughts. In my opinion, if you can pay a little bit more bucks, then jump to the Galaxy A52 or Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. There are a lot of reasons for that, like big bezels, old infinity U display, low brightness, not good performance and camera and 4K is also not available, selfie camera is also not impressive. The only good thing of this phone is its back design. So if you want to buy it for its back design by ignoring its camera and performance, then it's up to you. What do you say about this device? Please let me know in the comments below. If you found this honest review helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Signing off. Peace for all. Thank you.